our first guest is best known for starring in MTV's reality series, Laguna Beach, as well as its spin-off show, The Hills. She has since moved on to become a fashion designer and a New York Times best-selling author, releasing her second novel, Sweet Little Lies, earlier this month. Please welcome the lovely Lauren Conrad. <laughs> graduation of color in your hair. Thank you. It's really nice. Thanks, I just got it done. Yeah? Yeah. Special for the show? Um, special for the tour. Oh, <laughs> I see. The book tour. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Well, um, your style is always minimal, and you always look great. You ever notice that about Lauren? Thank you. Yeah, like you don't wear a lot. You don't wear a lot of anything, and you always look great. Never overdone. And I know that you have your clothing line available at Kohl's. Mm -hmm. And what I was thinking is, is that you know, one day when you come back, we have to do a fashion show. I love that because I, first of all. I love Coles. Oh, me too. <laughs> and, and second of all, everybody understands the high-low look mm -hmm. is the best way to go. Now, Lauren was on five seasons of The Hills, and, and, and then you left. I left. Any regrets? Um, not so much leaving the show. I, uh, I don't get to see the crew that I got to work with every day, and I love them, yeah. but, I, yeah, I kind of love it. Well, Lo is still on, right? Yeah. And you share an apartment still with Lo? Yeah, we live together, so she'll, like, go off to go filming, and she'll have to sit and do her hair and makeup, yeah. and I'm, like, in my pajamas, and I'm like, have fun. So they never come to you guys' actual uh, compound place no, they, where you guys compound. live? Yeah. No, they don't go to our apartment. You rich kids, uh, you know. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, there's some other kids who are getting some attention with their reality show, The Jersey Shore. Do you watch them? Uh, I do religiously. You do? <laughs> People were um, making the comparison, you know, to the Hills saying, well, you know, people are tired of seeing these rich kids. That would be you guys <laughs> trolling around Hollywood. Now they just want to see, you know, these kids. But um, I like both shows. Yeah, I was actually, I was reading an article in Rolling Stone. They were comparing the two, and I thought it was really funny. And they said, you know, in the Hills, they have all these, these girls that you kind of hate, and they, they fight with each other. And then... Um, on Jersey Shore, they have these girls that are like punching chicks out for each other. Yeah. And it was kind of true, and I was like, you're right, that's really refreshing. It is refreshing <laughs> yeah. and entertaining as long as it's not us, you know yes, what I mean? Yes, yes. It's fun to watch other people do their thing. Yes. You know, and hopefully know that, you know, they'll grow and they'll get better. I know Snooki's been here quite a few times. Has she? Yeah. We What's love it like her. in person? Is it. Well, picture, um, picture in my heels, I'm um, six feet yes. four. So, you know, and, and she's five feet four in person. It's cute. It's messy. And it can't be changed. Everybody's trying to give her makeovers, but she is who she is. It's great, though. You know, um, Heidi Montag recently had that plastic surgery, speaking of people that we like, but, you know, because she was on the show as well, and now she's gotten, you know, all this plastic surgery, and we talked about it. We've talked about it several times here on the show. And um, any thoughts on her plastic surgery? <laughs> I got it. Great. So tell us about, well, well tell, me, tell me this. Later in life, because you're still a young girl, you're still in your 20s, yes? Yeah, Didn't you, just, you just celebrated your 24th I birthday. Did, on the yeah. First. So say you're 44 and say you've had two kids. Oh, and yeah. Yeah. The pancake boob. Yeah. You've got to fix it. Yes. <laughs> I hear that. Yeah. <laughs> well, so let's talk about your book, um, Sweet Little Lies. Mm -hmm. You're a New York Times best selling author. This is great. Yes, thank you. Yeah. So this is the second one in the series. Yes. This is the um, the second, and it's a it's a trilogy. There's three mm. of them. So. Tell us who's in it. What's it all about? Oh, it's uh, well, it, it picks up where the first one left off. It's a group of girls um, who get cast in a reality show, all very different personalities. Uh, the main. Oh, thank you. Why did you clap? Did the applause know. side come on? What? We have an applause side. Oh, I was. Oh, our executive producer Rob made a mistake. She oh. and they clapped. Thank you. There's characters. <laughs> That's the thing about this show. Have you ever watched the show before, by the way? I have. I yes. So you knew where you were coming. I knew I was coming to the, the how you doing. <laughs> <laughs> the how you doing show. I try it. I couldn't do it. Do you like it? I, I love it because I can't do it. I'm very jealous. Can you do it? I'm gonna get back to your. Uh, I want to get back okay, to talking okay. about oh, your yeah. books, but first I want to teach you this. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna describe it. <laughs> you dim your eyes, but not so you can't see. Okay. And you <laughs> spread your bottom lips. It should form in a triangle. Look, I'll do it for okay. you, and then you do it for the camera. 
How you doing? <laughs> And, and you put, to put the stank on it, you go with your hand. How you doing? Uh -huh. This is not going to be good. <laughs> Wait. Uh, <laughs> can't <see>. How you doing? <laughs> that, was that was good, Laura. <laughs> that was the best I could do. So, sorry, so... You, um, so the books, so there's one more book in the trilogy, yes. and you're doing really well with that, and I think that's really terrific, you know, the clothing line, have you turned into this entrepreneur. Now, back to you and making faces. I want to talk about, no, because you always make good, you give good face, you know. I look in the magazines, you always look underdone as opposed to overdone, natural and, and good, good. And Paris Hilton is a friend to the show. P.S. She gave a really good how you do. Okay. Too. And, and so look, so Paris is a friend to the show, and I'm new to all this. And so she told me to pose. You just have to dim your eyes and pout your lip. And all I end up doing is laughing and smiling and being toothy and gummy. <laughs> Tell me how to take, or, and the audience, how to take a good picture. Um, I think that a natural smile is best. I know you're either, like, really big or you're kind of happy. It's, it's good if you, like, it's the beginning of a laugh. Like, you know what I mean? That first, like, when you laugh, the first laugh is like... <laughs> <laughs> no, I, get that. I get this. The Olsen twins say, go prune. Prune. I can't do that. I'll look silly. Prune. I just laugh. So I'm in photo shoots, and I'm just laughing the whole yeah. time, and they think I'm weird. And what do you do with your arms? Because everybody in Hollywood, all you girls do the same pose. It's, yeah, because you got to avoid the fat arm. you got to keep it. Because if you, if you push Lauren, it against your body. I've, <laughs> I've got this. So when I do this, there's a lot of that hanging. Well, no, you just, you know. Back. It's Lauren, better I've than got this. these. So now it looks like. Well. P.S. Done after the baby. Nice. Double D. <laughs> yeah. But I'm 45. Yes. <laughs> it's a go. Yeah. Anyway, I love that you're here, and oh, okay. um, we've got to talk some more another visit. But before you go, here on the show, yes. it's first kiss month all month of February here on the Wendy Show. And I want yes. you to share with us, if you shall, yes. your first kiss. Uh, my first kiss? Mm -hmm. I think I was, I was either... 13 or 14. I was at the end of eighth grade, oh. and I had never kissed a boy, and uh, my boyfriend kissed me, and he, he French kissed me, and I didn't know what to do. Okay. And then he told everyone I was an awful kisser at school, so everyone made fun of me and said I kissed like a fish. But he's still a really good friend today, and he doesn't like girls anymore, so. Oh! I think that's, I think that's why. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just kissed like a girl. And now you do a lot of kissing in your private life, <laughs> which will keep private. Yes. You, you have a boyfriend that you mm -hmm. care about very much, yes. and we love that. Thank you so much for being here, Lauren Thank Conrad. You. you can pick up a copy of Marmon's new book, Sweet Little Lies. It's available wherever books are sold, and we'll be right back. Thank you.